Ah, scary. Ah. Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day today. Let's play ah. some RimWorld, guys. Hypernetic shy stuff. You guys help me name it. Let's go. We got Don't Stop the Music as a mod installed. If anybody asks if we got modded, we're heavily, heavily modded. Okay, so. We are building a compound. I've got... Uh, we've extended the freezer. This is geothermal for later. And I've got things kind of set up for now. We got some bedrooms. We got some wood chopping. We got gardens. Infinitely more modded over normal. You're not wrong. I think right now we're spiking some mining. That way we can get these rooms going. We got some steel being created. And the next step for us is going to be setting up a tailor and growing some cotton. <clears throat> How far has this grown? 81%? Yeah, I think we need to shift gears and start growing some cotton. We're in fall. So that's strawberry. That's rice. That's potatoes. We should take this. Oh, come on. Stop it. Change this to cotton, please. I should have done that a long time ago. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go slow at first to kind of get a bearing on what we were doing, on how things were running. We want it freezing in here, that we were good to go on that part. And guys, we're being raided. It's Krillin. He's trying to put his booty on us. Don't take his booty. Take his, grab his booty and squeeze it uh, consensually. Hi everybody, welcome in. Carrot Monster is good to see you. Krillin, hello. Kill Lava. Ask Rye, welcome in. Or Ask Her Way. Alexa, play Despacito. Salsa Pandas, welcome in, you guys. Thank you for being here. My name's Taradra. I stream every day. I put chat first, game second. We're experimenting with our subathon timer because tomorrow, 24 hours from now, we are going to be doing a subathon with no time cap and crazy incentives like me wearing a dress and a wig and other things. No squeezing your booty, but I have before. There's a lot of bone there because there's not a lot there, but that was during us making out, remember? Smile. You guys, welcome on in, make yourselves at home. If you're new to the stream, feel free to ask some questions. We got an amazing community here. And we'd love to have you guys a part of it as well. All the fat goes to your hips. See, I was lurking you. I didn't know you were raiding me. You're, for some reason, on your channel, the little raid thing doesn't pop up to say who we're going to. So it's always a surprise where we end up because I don't actually listen to you because I can't hear my hear your audio. So the screen goes black and then it's something, but I wasn't paying attention. And then I saw me over there in the corner. So I saw me up in OBS and over on the screen. And yeah, it is weird, Krillin, because I, I don't, I, I sometimes I don't end up going with you to the raids. That's Twitch. Who knows? So this is our little humble abode. I use the planning tool to kind of plan out an area. And right now, th this is how we have it initially set up. We've got bedrooms here on both sides. We're using this one as a temporary prison. I don't know if I want to if I, if I, if I, wanna, if I wanna recruit this guy or not, but we're going to have an infirmary here and we're going to have prisons here. This is going to be dining hall and recreation. Uh, this is going to be a production room with uh, research and then cooking. I'm going to be converting all the walls to like steel or something later. We, we have to dig out all of our steel. We didn't start off with very much. We got some defenses coming up. We've got a garden with the with the wind turbines. We just built some batteries. What kind of run is it? We're doing adventure uh, Cassie. I, I haven't launched a rocket since uh, 1.0. I haven't played a lot of RimWorld since 1.0 either. We did a run the other day. It was 60, almost 70 hours. And what ended up screwing us in the run was our one of our enemy tribes blocked the sun and we had to caravan out to kill it. But the base had 10 enemies, four turrets and like two dogs or whatever. And we, we encountered a really bad it was a really down bad moment because we had we had caused them to flee and I had two people that were alive 
The explosion didn't kill anybody from a turret, but one of them got downed. And when it did, it kicked me out of the map and said everybody got captured. And that was a huge turning point in our run because that was the majority of our colony. So then I had this giant compound with all these defenses and like four people. And it was really, really bad. Ben, I'll see you in a bit. French Emperor, welcome back. So we're going to kind of make this our, our redemption run. We're naming colonists after uh, people in chat, but we're using channel points to do that with. I think it's 10,000 channel points. But I stream 250 hours a month, so it's easy for you to get channel points in here. You don't even have to subscribe. So yeah, this person is really, really smart. That's the only thing he's got going for him, and he's good at melee. Other than that, I really don't need them. But if they could also research, because right now our only researcher is also somebody who is our uh, cook. So we're kind of we're kind of at an impasse right now. Not Mag, welcome in. Thank you for the resubscription. I appreciate it for two months. Thank you, thank you. He could be a smart janitor. I mean, we we do need somebody to clean. Also, we haven't started cleaning yet. But yes, so we're swapping these potatoes over to, to cotton because we need to start making clothes. We really don't have a crafter on our team. We have like a level three tailor that we're probably going to have to start making some patch leather and stuff out of. But we're really, really not butchering or butchering a lot of animals. So we're kind of in a weird way. What? What? Hi. It is. No, I don't. Hi, what, what? So we're practice, we're, 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 we're experimenting with the subathon timer. We have a subathon tomorrow. So any support we get, you're gonna see that timer kind of bob up and down. I'm not lying for 50 more minutes. We're just, we're just trying it out, making sure that everything works. Um, but I also need to fit it into my little overlay that I made. I think I'm gonna put it above the sub count, which I'm gonna do that right now. The game minimized, I'm sorry. Give me one second, let me, let me work with this. I think if I shrink it down that far and then squeeze it in there, it should look a little cleaner. Yeah. And there we go. Sweet. So now it's actually in the overlay. I made that overlay, by the way. I'm kind of proud of it. I need to make some adjustments to it now that it's been live for a week. Here's our warg. We named it, ah, crap, because I said I should name my warg. And right as I said that, we were getting raided, and I said, ah, crap. So it was a 20% chance to tame and we got lucky. So that's good for us. The reason why I moved my, my camp down here, this was the only fertile soil on the entire map. I picked a, a, a temperate forest, but I picked a temperate forest that had a river and a mountain. That way we kind of had some, some downside to it all. Like there's, there's a little bit of fertile soil, a rich soil like here and here and stuff, but this was like a large pocket. This is all mud. This, this this was all like a giant pocket of it. So I wanted to build down here. We're, we're, I, I know being in the corner isn't the most ideal situation. Let's see if we can't get our guys mining. So I took them off of mining to haul because we had some food going bad. But I think now we can actually get everybody to start mining again. Who's our warden? We have nobody being a warden. So we can have these two being a warden. That way we can try to work on that, his stuff. And we could also probably get him a bed. Let's work on making him a bed. We got the wood for it. <clears throat> and then we're mining. Now the days won't fit. I'll, I'll, I'll change it. I'll make the text more legible. And maybe I'll put it on the gray bar instead. The gray bar, the gray bar. Uh, I'll put it up on the gray bar instead. We'll do it later. What, what, how have you been, my friend? It's been a while. I hope you've got some time to hang out tonight. If not, I totally understand. But I do like having you here. Your stickers arrived. Awesome. What, what did you get stickers made of? Why am I paying too much for this industrial cabling? <laughs> you like the rooms built into the mountain? Yeah, we're, we're working on getting the mountain. I... I, I dug out too far or else I would have smoothed out the walls. 
but this actually helps us from infestation. So I, I kind of derped, but also had a stroke of genius at the same time. So these are gonna be prison cells. So yeah, we can take that bed and say deconstruct and he'll move over to there. Oh, wait, is he part of the court? He is. All right, so the Katora tribe is, oh look, it's gray. <laughs> and he's got a bar in his hand, chat. It's a gray bar. All right, um, who do I have that's got weapons? You've got a hunting rifle. Speedworks has a handgun. You guys are gonna have to be my go-tos, let's go. They are attacking immediately. Slow cuz, release your animal. We have a, we have a, a husky. Run, kite, kite. Oh, be careful about running in front of Speedworks. He doesn't shoot very well. Get him, dog! Oh, nice, good job, okay. So we will do all of this. I kind of want to build a shelter. Uh, like I was telling Krillin, I want to build a freezer space for the warg to have some human bodies left over from a raid to eat. Uh, but hopefully they get it from there. So, cause you are bruised, you'll be fine. All right, get back to work. Oh, I'm using a mod uh, that plays the music all the time. Don't stop the music. But no, I, I, I want to launch a rocket without modding the game first. That way I feel better about, about me. I launched a rocket back in early access, but that was back when they gave you solar panel and a battery as, as your, like your first things that you that you crash land with and it was it was infinitely easier back then than it is now now i have to actually like research the batteries and stuff and adds another layer all right so they were from the we, we are we are right here wait for it to generate the planet we were right next to a bad tribe that's why we're getting raided over and over again, but we're also next to a neutral person and another neutral person. So my plan is to make friends with these guys, kill these guys, <clears throat> and then we won't have to worry about these people over here, which really hate us. That's the extreme eagles. If they were sick, they'd be extremely ill eagles. <laughs> Build a wall! Okay, let's... uh. We have 274 steel. Hey, TJ, you know what? It's great, okay? Maybe I want to leave these walls like this and smooth these out. Maybe, but maybe not. I want this steel. But I also want these rooms finished. God, there's so much I can do. There we go. Get the barricades built. So now at least we have some defenses. I'm surprised they have it deconstructed. I don't know why that's a priority that they're not jumping on immediately. What's the temperature in here? 21, it's 28 outside. We got some vents, so it's staying a little bit cool. We have to add another air conditioner down here probably. Zay Flint, you've been added to the list. <clears throat> there's a lot of people on the list right now. I think there's like six or seven people, but you're there. You're just a regular potato what what? I mean, are you a russet potato, red skin potato? How does that work? Hi, War Scar. Happy Thursday, bud. Thanks for being here. So yeah, this is gonna be our infirmary. This will be the new prison cells. A group of travelers from the Tolira tribe are passing by. Neat. If you had something for sale, I'd give you a gift. We do desperately need a fourth person though. So maybe, maybe wearing him out would be nice. And he'll just be a researcher cleaner and he'll just research and clean. And he can also wield like a club or a knife or something and beat somebody up every once in a while. I don't have anywhere to put these people. Um, maybe I should close this up and make this a cold room. Do like a uh, wall door unit. And I'll put a unit over here too. That way we can have some temperature adjustments. 
Back to RimWorld, Sierra Nevada. We were supposed to play it yesterday, but my internet went out. So we played a little bit of chivalry. What's up, I'm no good? Welcome in. It's good to see you. It's an absolute unit. You're not wrong. You're a new red skin potato, but I believe all potatoes that aren't moldy are good potatoes. Okay. Well, you're never moldy in my book, what what? Just so that you know. Pe peepo cute or whatever you do. Animals. Let's oh we, we got a buck that self-tamed. I have him set for slaughter. We haven't slaughtered him yet. Hey, get that guy out of here. Yeah, there you go. That works. <laughs> whatever whatever that is for you. Animals. Yeah, we need to make this into a dumping zone for bodies and put dead raiders in there. And then have the dogs eat the dead raiders. That way they get their protein. And they stay out of my freezer. Okay, so this one right here is built 21 Celsius. So it should keep everything in here rather cool. The freezer's in here. Uh, it's all built up now. We just need to deconstruct all of our wooden walls here. And then our freezer is good to go. It is G2G. Really want to build a colony in a mountain eventually? It it has its own dangers. Like we can hit an infestation at any point. The mountain started over here-ish, I want to say. So we're not we're not wholly in it, but we're using it as an extension of the Yeah, infestations suck. I want the steel here too. I think we're just going to come through like this. I also want that. I don't know how much there is, but I want it. Infestations do suck, but fun! You say that until you've had like really bad ones and it wipes out your entire colony, then you're like, screw those things! <laughs> screw them, I say. Resistance is 20.9. We're, we're dropping it. Maybe we should make their mood a little better. Let's um, let's mark all these for hauling. That way the dog will do it. And then what I can do is I'll build them a dresser. I'll build them an end table. Do I have anything for this? I really don't want to put sandstone down. I can help it. Uh, Anarchist collection of goodies has informed us a collection of valuable items is not far from us. Okay, uh, it's cheap and quite quick to build, but also quite ugly. Now, if I remember correctly, that has a debuff. Yeah, it's minus one to beauty. This is at least neutral. So at least it's not the ground. All right, so we lost one whole resistance, which is really cool. Oh, I got to get power out to there. So once we get this torn apart, we'll put power out there. You find placing your animal sleeping spots under the mountain often makes the animals absorb the insect's wrath. Yeah, we're going to hopefully get a team of wargs put together, and then we don't have to worry about any insects. You know? We're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna get OMIM to cut all the way through here. That way we can successfully take care of the electricity needs. Because this body is now rot, but at least we'll have it for later. Hi, Element. Welcome in, buddy. Insects are easy to deal with. They are until they until they're not. Obviously. Uh oh, what do you need? Food? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just cut the stuff out. A wanderer joins. Oh, we just we just got a wanderer. If you don't want him, you can banish him. No, I'm good. We'll, we got it. We got a new guy. <laughs> let me let me get him situated. So we got a new person. That was cool. I suppose. 
<laughs> Yay, another body. That's not how I looked at it, TJ. How dare you? But yes, another body. Oh, Krillin, we've got we've got people ahead of you, my friends. It's not gonna be you. We've got we've got like five or six people ahead. But you are added onto the list. You are added onto the list. How much wood do we have? Only 239. We're gonna need to chop some trees here soon. Uh-oh. The AC's already broken? That's so bad. Okay, let me think here for a second. Speed works. You gotta start plant cutting. Oh my M is mining, it's fine. He needs to level up his mining. Slow I need you to work on. Actually, we got this new guy here. What do you do? You're growing. Okay, so you can grow as a second. You're actually a really good miner, which is great. So hold hold on. And you can plant cut really well. Oh god, he's good at everything. And you can also research. Oh, he's a smarty. Uh Warner, I think you're already there, aren't you? I'll double check. Hi, Rarest, welcome in. Hi, Rax. I'm gonna trust him. It's a hot take. How are you doing, friend? Let's see what he does. He's a he's a colony settler. He's nimble and ugly. Alright, so he might be Krillin. Kappa. He's good with plants, he's a doctor, and he's smart. Why can't we get these people all the time? How you doing, Fidego? Welcome in. Did I get on the list from yesterday? Yes, you're on the list from yesterday. I'm definitely not nimble. <laughs> all right, so he's actually really good. Oh boy, okay, are you our new doctor? You could be. You could be our new doctor. You're not gonna warden, you're not gonna cook. Construction as a secondary, grow as a secondary, mining, plant cutting. So let's take Oh My Am off of mining. Let's take Slow Cuz off of plant cutting. He's going to be a tailor. We need a tailor bench. And then, uh, we got, we got researchers now. Do I have a research project? I don't. I should probably start one. Uh, smithing. Go. Hi, Thunder. Welcome in, buddy. It's good to see you. Hope you're well. We, we, we could still use him. If we had a third researcher, that'd be really awesome. So, yeah. I, I like all of this. Uh, and Deleon is named... Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal. Welcome to the colony. And there we go. They're gonna put on some clothes and they're gonna get right to mining. Sweet. I love it. We gotta get them a bedroom set up. We need actually wood. So maybe oh my um can the prostitute can cut wood. <laughs> Speedworth can cut wood. Alright, cool. This is good for us. Dark crystal sleeping on the ground, they're gonna get a debuff. Blah 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 blah. Alright, so that's good. We got another colonist. Heck yeah. I wasn't ready for him yet. We have enough room down here for 12 colonists as time goes by. <clears throat> so once we get all the rooms decked out and beautiful, people should be happier. Oh wow, we've got lots of steel in here. Wow, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, slow cuts. Calling to dresser. Will you prioritize the bed, please? That way we actually have somewhere for somewhere to sleep. For someone to sleep. All right, you are now dark bed. Sweet. And then we can put some wood flooring down. It, if the prisoner is in a better mood, they'll be their resistance will drop more. Okay, sweet. This gets power out there. Getting ready to go on a fishing trip. Nice. What are you going to be fishing for? I like fishing. We're going to loop the power line over to here. And then I want to run it down the wall here. And then we'll get this right here powered up. And I guess since we have <coughs> an amazing miner, 
we'll just go on ahead and get them to mine out this entire area here. That way we just have a freezer. This, this is going to be Raiders bodies, by the way. A freezer for bodies. Yeah, that's amazing. Go Dark Crystal, go. Oh, my am is cooking. Slow cuz is relaxing socially. If they would deconstruct these, they'd have enough wood to finish most of the other projects in the in the base. <clears throat> but I guess they just like being complicated. Why you got to go and make things so complicated? Did we, did we ever kill that buck? We didn't. We really need to kill that buck. I don't know the name of the fish in English. It's a meat-eating fish. Oh, okay. Nice. Is it a piranha? Do you do you do people purposely go fishing for piranhas? That's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. You have 332 steel. Psychic drone female. That's not good. Um. Lane. All right. We'll figure that part out. <clears throat> a barracuda. Ooh, a barracuda. Orders mine. I think. I think there's a lot of steel here. There's compacted machinery. That's going to be another component or two. Let's see. What is their resistance down to? Sixteen point two. They got a low mood because they're probably a female. Yep, they're being affected by the psychic drone. Most most fish eat meat. They'll they'll eat other smaller fish and stuff. So exclamation point! Actually, do we have a work? No, we've got a couple of cougars though. Slow cuz, are you hunting? You can. Let's get you. Let's kill these predators out here on the map. Let's double check, make sure they didn't kill any animals. It's free food for us. I just have to allow it. But I guess they mean like they have teeth and they rip flesh. That's a that's a different kind of eat meat. That'll be like your barracudas, your gar, <clears throat> things like that. Did we injure it? Dead in six hours. Hell yeah, we killed a cougar. Good job, Slowcos. See, we got bodies going on out here. Just rot. That's fine. <laughs> Wolf Dragon, how you doing, bud? It's good to have you here. Hope you're having a good day so far. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So I'm gonna do a little bit of structure building here. I want to close up the wall, I suppose, here. Or just do this for now. And then we'll get a power line out. I don't care if it runs through here and looks gross. That's not what we're going for there. We're not going for aesthetically pleasing. This is going to be a freezer for, for dead raiders. See, this is this is where the fear of infestation comes from. You're like, ooh, steel, and it's like infestation. Eradicated. 